the number eight character of all time, Bum Phillips. The Oilers had come up with a brand new head coach that nobody ever heard of. A good old boy named O.A. Bum Phillips. Bum Phillips became a character because he represented the city where he coached so well. Big hat, boots on the sideline. What's your favorite skin? Uh, really, probably ostrich. You know, it's so soft, it's like a teacher's leg. Right. He fit Houston and Texas like a glove. Like a glove. Walks around with chewing tobacco and spitting. It's our sign, huh? It ain't over till the fat man spits. What a horse. When this real-life cowboy became coach of the Houston Oilers in the mid-70s, many wondered if he'd be able to rustle up wins in the NFL. People didn't understand how you could have a head coach who wore a cowboy hat. You wear a fedora if you're a great head coach like Bear Bryant or like Tom Landry. You don't wear a cowboy hat. By the late 70s, the Oilers were a Super Bowl contender, and Houston had fallen in love with Bum. He believed in winning, but that was only half the equation. The other half was having fun while you do it. He would stop practice and bring out an ice cream truck and to have ice cream for the players. He said, I believe you win by being a family. We might as well run it. Our number eight character spoke a language straight from the old west. Oh, come on, hell fire! Now you can't do that. If you do it, I'm telling you, you're going to have more hell over it in a little bit. They actually had a book, Bumism. They say the harder we played, the behinder we got. We got the football! There was one about Don Schulich. Schulich could take hisin and beat urin. He could take urin and beat hisin. No matter what Bum said, he couldn't get the Oilers past their biggest rival. Houston lost the AFC Championship game to Pittsburgh in 1978 and 79. Two years ago, we knocked on the door. This year, we kicked at the door. Next year, we're going to kick the damn door in, and it turned out the door fell on him. That ain't funny. The day that he was fired, we still refer to as the New Year's Eve massacre. I have fans today that tell me when they fired Bum Phillips, I became a Cowboys fan. And in Houston, that's like. The character in the cowboy hat who made it to number eight on our list is still to this day number one in the hearts of Houston. Jeff Fisher has the best record in the history of any Oilers Titans coach. Now let's bring it! But the most popular coach in that franchise's history was Bum Phillips. Thank y'all for coming out. Hey, don't give you a kiss. I haven't met anybody yet that I ever played against that the first thing out of their mouth is, you know, what was it like playing for Bum Phillips? Oh, Daniel! <laughs> it was the best of times, no question.